let's talk about constants and variables. Now constant and variables are basically ways to create names for values that we want to store and access later in our programs. Uh, this will make more sense as you kind of see them in action. So let's start first with constants. Now constants are something that you set once in the program and you never change after that. You just kind of always uh, reference that value. Um, so let's show how to create one first and we'll kind of get into why would you, you would use that. So you're going to use the words let let and then you're going to specify a name for your constant. And so um, let's say we're creating a uh, program about your dog and so your dog's name is something that probably won't change so we're going to say dog name equals and we'll say Charles. Okay, so here we have a constant named dog name, and we know it's a constant because we specified let before it, and the name of it is Charles. Now, anywhere throughout our program, we can access this variable dog name, and it's going to output uh, the string Charles. So if we right here, not God, dog name, uh, you can see here on the right, playground kind of shows you the output of your variables. Um, and constants that dog name is equal to the string Charles. So great, that's uh, constants. Now what is variables? Variables are values that can be changed later. So to create a variable, you just type var for var variable, and the uh, age of your dog can change. So let's say uh, dog age, and we're going to assign that to uh, right now the dog is 14. Right, so here we have dog age. If we you know, go down another line and type dog age, uh, we can see on the right that it's 14. But we could also say, uh, you know what? Let's see what happens when our dog gets older. And so we're going to set the dog age equal to 15. Now the next time we use the dog age variable, it's 15. So that's the big difference between constants and variable. Constants happen one time. They don't change once you set it set it and forget it, right? You don't change it. Variables you can change throughout the program. Now for naming your constants and variables, you can name them almost anything you'd like in Swift. Uh, you know, there's nothing special about doggage. We could literally put random text and it, I mean, that's a valid variable name. Uh, something that's really cool that you've probably heard about in Swift is that you can use Unicode characters as variable names. So Let's actually put some emojis in and use that as a variable name. This will be neat. So to use Unicode characters, especially emojis on uh, OS X, I'm using Mavericks here, you want to hit Command Control Space. And it's going to bring up this little box. And uh, you go down here to emojis. And I'm first going to start with nature. I'm going to take a dog, put him in there, and then my all-time favorite emoji, the smiling pile of poo. So X that, right? Um, we can actually create a variable and its name can be dog crap. Um, so we could just put here nasty stuff. And it's a totally legit variable, right? Like if I you know, copy this here, go on a new line, it equals the string nasty stuff. We could assign it a new string like gross. And again, look, I mean, it's a totally valid variable. Now, I would highly suggest not using these kind of variables. Um, I mean, this is so new. I mean, no other program, programming language can do this that I'm aware of. Uh, I can't think of a good use case, but I do know, right, unless I have this on my clipboard. So earlier in my code, I had specified this variable. If I want to access it again, I have to do command control space bar, get back to this thing and uh, you know, pull out the dog. And as you can see, it's not auto-completing for me. So this is like on the forefront of using emoji as a variable and constant names. And uh, I don't know if it's exactly ready for prime time. I wouldn't use this in my code unless I just really wanted to prank somebody that I was working with. Uh, but I mean, it's cool. I totally love that this is a part of Swift. Now let's say that we have a couple of variables that we want to create and so, you know, uh, after we've made, let's change this random text to something better. We're going to call this uh, dog age again. And so let's make a new one. 
uh, called dog weight equals 134. Uh, I mean, you can see this is going to get kind of long. So something cool that you can do uh, with Swift is just take the name of the variable and the value you're assigning to it. And using the comma, you can kind of just line these all up into one line. Um, so you can't do uh, constants and variables in the same line. Uh, but, I mean, you could put all your variables in one line and all your constants in one line. Let's do another one. Uh, dog shoe size. I have no idea why we're making a constant of this, but just for example, uh, you can see uh, that you can do that. And then finally, to finish up with constants and, constants and variables, let's talk about uh, printing these things. So printing, meaning that you know somehow show this to the user, um, not to the user, to yourself uh, as a developer. I mean, the fastest thing that you can do is if you're in Playground, simply type something like uh, dog age, and it's going to appear on the right, and you can instantly see that. I, if you're using Playground, as far as I've found playing around with this, that's the best way to do it. Uh, if you're actually running a program in Xcode, um, and you're using uh, the iOS simulator, or you're running on a device, you can use uh, print line and actually put... Uh, these variables into the console. Now you'll see when I do this, it doesn't show up on the right, um, th but it would show up in the console if you were running something. Uh, and I mean, there's all sorts of th things that you can do about, uh, you know, putting variables into strings. We're going to cover that in a later topic. Uh, but for our purposes now, you shouldn't need to use print line until you're actually creating an application that's going to run. You know, we're just using the playground right now to mess around with things. So just simply putting a variable name uh, there is going to be enough.